Hello, my lovelies. This is Dr. V. Welcome to a new general love reading. This is going to be for all signs, all twin flames and soulmates in this beautiful collective. So before we dive right in, I just want to thank you to all of you who have sent me messages, comments, and emails asking me where I've been. I'm so sorry. I know I've missed a couple of readings, but it's because, you know, I'm here in California and we were already kind of stuck at home because of the virus situation and now we have wildfires and the air quality has been so bad outside so we've been stuck even more so so I thought this might be a good time to get some repair work in my home done you know things that have been kind of sitting around that need to get fixed so we had some people working here a lot of noise and mess and so that's why I couldn't do our usual readings but now I am back. I'm so excited to be back here with you. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome. So happy that you're here today. If you like this reading, please do make sure that you consider subscribing. And as always, if you guys give me a thumbs up, if you like, share, and subscribe, that would mean the absolute world to me. And without further ado, let's get right in. And remember, this is a general reading, so make sure to take the messages as they resonate for you in your situation and and leave the rest. So let's get right to it with our first question here for Spirit. Spirit, can you please tell us what is the current energy of the Divine Masculine? Where are our dear Divine Masculines right now in their life journey? What is going on in their energies? Okay, so we have some, definitely some transition energy coming through here. Um, so with the masculine, I feel that they are definitely feeling some sort of a um, kind of, you know, you know, when you feel like you've lost certain things or you've missed out on certain opportunities or certain moments have been a bit kind of taken away from you or you feel like you missed out on those things. And so you were kind of feeling down about it. You're feeling a bit uh, confused, um, definitely working through some issues when it comes to self-image, how the masculines are seeing themselves. I think this is something that they have been definitely struggling through and it has definitely taken its toll on the energy between the masculine and the feminine for sure because any time either of us, the masculines or the feminines, right? Anytime we are going through transition phases or going through certain situations that have kind of been light bulb moments for us, right? Like they have taught us to look at things differently than what we have been looking, how we've been looking at them before. There's definitely going to be a lag period, right? Like there's a period of a feeling pain from that because let's face it we're all a bit creatures of habit you know human beings like we don't like change so much when we get into our comfort zone we kind of like staying in that zone right and it takes you know certain things to go wrong um certain types of struggle and pain that kind of pushes us out of that zone and into more of this self-discovery and i think that this was something that the masculine very much needed to to do as in you know he has gotten to this point where certain things have worked for him but there have been issues that have going on with him emotionally for some time with this four of cups coming through um, I feel that your masculine 
if you are watching this video for your masculine, um, they have definitely been struggling with their emotional energies. They have been feeling at a loss of um, words it, words to even communicate the emotions that they have been going through. So a lot of stagnant emotional energy here. I do feel that your masculine has been asking himself some difficult questions with this high priestess energy and that is why I do feel that this is a positive transition. This is a transition that your masculine really needed to go through. I feel that even if you have been having to kind of go through a struggle lately in your connection. Even if you have had to step back a little or your masculine has had to step back a little, it's actually necessary. It's been a good thing because it has really forced him to get into this high priestess energy of really regrouping as in asking himself some of these deeper uh, deeper questions about the, the issues that he has because I feel that for many of you, your masculine is a wonderful person in many ways, but he does struggle to ask some of these tougher questions, as in he does struggle because it makes him ve feel very uncomfortable when he is challenged, especially because there's something about him um, when it comes to his identity or his own self-image, his perceptions are quite strong, okay? The way that he perceives himself, uh, the opinions that he has. Sometimes I feel that your masculine does jump to opinions. Like, you know, he tends to be a bit more heated in his opinions. So it's like, you know how sometimes certain people, it's like they kind of watch and they wait and they, you know, measure out out different um, experiences and different situations before they actually form an opinion about a person or a, a, a situation or an event that's happened in their life. I feel that for many of you, your masculine is not one to do that. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, he tends to just get these opinions that get him into this kind of like this emotional tizzy of like feeling really emotionally out of sorts. And that's why we're having him coming through here in that four of cups energy. It's like he's been feeling very, very out of sorts when it comes to his um, emotional energy. And when the masculine feels this out of sorts energy, he tends to just shut down. So that's another aspect of this Four of Cups energy. It's like if he doesn't know what to do with himself emotionally, he tends to not do anything at all, right? So I feel like for many of you, you have been faced with a stagnant energy right now coming from your masculine. Like you just feel like you guys are at a standstill. You're not moving forward. You're not moving back. At least that's a good thing, right? But you do feel stuck in one kind of place, in one kind of energy. And I do feel for many of you feminines is that you have tried, like you have given it your best effort. You've really done a lot to try to move things forward. But I think this is spirit also telling you that this is something that you can't do for your masculine. Like this is not a switch that you can flip for him. It is a switch that he needs to flip for himself. So with this six of swords energy, it's like your masculine really needs to look for these new opportunities. I love the fact that actually this six of swords came up with the door card, which is opportunities are waiting for you. So I do feel that there's a lot of good, good energy, good change coming around the corner for your masculine and for you um, because I feel like as he starts to get better, as he starts to feel better, as his perception starts to ease, as he really does take that time for himself with this high priestess energy and goes in deep and tries to get himself out of this emotional stagnation, right? Just emotionally being kind of stuck in the mud. 
as that perception changes, he will be able to start putting some of these things behind him. That's what I love about the Six of Swords because it really is about us making that mental shift, making that mental decision that, you know what, enough is enough. It is time. Like, I felt sorry for myself for a while. Yeah, things have been a bit shitty. Yeah, things have been a bit tough. Um, I may have been kind of very pessimistic lately, too, because that's another energy I'm feeling from the masculine collective is that, you know, with certain things that have gone wrong in their um, situations and then things not going that great with you, that kind of has been a real double whammy for them. And they, so they've been feeling a bit pessimistic, right? And so I feel, though, that they are now shifting out of that energy because it literally is this kind of switch that they need to flip. And when they do that, it's literally your masculine and you getting into this boat and really putting that stuff behind you and looking forward to this new horizon. Like you're now moving in the right direction again. And I feel that as you do that, these doors of opportunity are going to open up again. You know, doors that I think your masculine has felt have been closed off for him. Um, they're going to open up again, you know, but he needs to change that mindset, right? Like he needs to come out of this lost mindset. And when he does that, absolutely, these doors of opportunity will open up for him. And as a as a really wonderful kind of result from that, it's going to change the way he also approaches your love and your um, relationship, your connection. Let's pause here so I can give you your affirmation of the day. So today's affirmation is all about our beliefs, right? Believing that you deserve the absolute best that life has to offer, no matter what challenges we are all going through right now in the world. It is so important for us to affirm our own power and knowing that we will be okay. And we won't just be okay, we will thrive and we will have a beautiful life. So today's affirmation is, everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. Thanks to dear Abraham Hicks. <laughs> it's one of my favorite ones that she says. So make sure that you write that in the comment box below, along with any of your other thoughts or feelings. You know, I love to hear from you and, um, make sure that you put that in your vibration today and every single day. Now let's get back to our reading. So let's ask the question then, Spirit, can you please tell us how does your masculine feel about you at this time? How does the masculine think and feel in his deepest heart about his feminine right now? Wow, this is lovely. This is very, very good. How is he feeling and thinking in his deeper heart. Wow. Ho oh, ho. Huh. About his feminine. What are his deep thoughts and feelings right now? Where is he when it comes to his true feelings here. All right, so look at this. So we got this virtue card. So one of the things here, and this is a message for some of you. It may not resonate for all of you, and that's totally okay. But for some of you, I am feeling that there is some sort of a third party situation here, okay? Again, for some of you, not for all of you. And because we're getting two queens here, so we're getting this queen of wands and the queen of pentacles, and now we're getting this two of swords. Isn't it interesting how it has come in between, right? Between these two queens and with the two of swords coming in reverse it's like you know he has struggled to make a decision 
as to which way he needs to go. Because I do feel for some of you, you are in some position where it doesn't necessarily have to be a love triangle as in, you know, they're with somebody else or they're trying to get out of that connection, but they're struggling to get out of it or they may be in like some form of separating from that connection. But I feel that even for some of you, it's not even that your masculine is in another relationship or connection, but the other queen can also just be another woman in his life. It could be mom. It could be friend. It could be some other feminine in his life that is also, you know, somehow meddling with your connection or getting in the way. Or it is somebody in his life that he looks up to in some way and, and whose opinions he listens to, even though it may not be the best thing for him. So there's some sort of, for some of you, another influence here. Okay. So it's either an influence a mom, a friend, a mentor, you know, somebody who is a feminine energy who definitely interferes in your connection. And for some of you, it's actually a, some sort of a third party where your masculine is still trying to figure out which way he needs to go or is still trying to let go of that person. So, so this is, this is the thing, right? For some of you, it is, it has been a difficult thing, but look at this. It's like he struggles with trying to do the right thing by you and by whatever his other responsibilities or other kind of, um, distractions are and so there has definitely been some sort of an issue here now for the rest of you for the rest of you for whom it is not a third party situation or it is not your masculine being um, influenced by somebody else i'm also feeling this very interesting energy of him you know struggling to really be able to um understand you better and I feel like that's also part of the struggle that he's been going through when it comes to perception. So I do feel that for many of you, it's like your masculine has a certain image or opinion of you. Remember how we talked about how these masculines that we are connecting with right now, like sometimes they tend to form quick conclusions. They tend to form like quicker opinions about things. And I feel like part of the, the, the struggle here that he is going through and part of the reason why he's also been experiencing that loss and that four of cups, that kind of stagnant energy is that it's like he is struggling to fully understand who you are. And I feel like he sees you in these two ways as the queen of wands and as the queen of pentacles. Right. And so I feel like, the, you know, I feel like no feminine or masculine is just one of these, right? We all have like a dominant, right? A dominant energy and a secondary energy. And then we have sprinkles of the other energies as well, right? So I feel that one of the things that your masculine wants to better understand about you is, you know, how, what is the best way for him to have a successful connection or a successful, a better relationship with you? Should he see you as this queen of wands or should he see you as this queen of pentacles? So I do feel like, you know, sometimes we feel as feminines that we are being very clear, you know, that we are, you know, exactly who we are, that there's just no, um, you know, there could be no doubts in anybody's mind, but you know, men or masculines, you know, and this is of course, just take it as energies, but you know, they, they don't think that, right. They think feminines are very complicated, right? Cause you know, they're looking at it from another perspective. And sometimes we are not as clear to them as we think we are, right. They can be confused by what we think, how we feel and how we, we act. And if you look at this queen of wands and queen of pentacles, they are very different energies, right? The queen of pentacles, it's, it's very, to me, it's very like opposite energies. So I 
feel like the Queen of Pentacles, she's very down to earth, very nurturing, very mellow, very laid back. And the Queen of Wands is the opposite. She's like bold. She's like blunt. She's, you know, out there. Um, you know, she gets very excited about things. She wants to like change the world. Right. So it's like, I feel like your masculine is also kind of struggling to figure out, you know, who are you really? And, and how can he best express his love to you? As in, how can he best, um, do the right thing? First of all, which is where this virtue card comes from. Like, how can he relate to you, connect to you in the right way? Because see, this is the thing. It's like, he doesn't want to be stuck anymore. And we saw this before with that four of cups, right? So this is the same energy that he's been feeling. He doesn't want to feel this anymore. He wants th this connection to start flowing, right? With this fertility card. It's like he wants to also be loyal to you. Like they feel like with this, you know, cute dog's energy, it's like he wants to be able to express his loyalty, um, his love. He wants for the struggles to end. He wants your love to manifest and grow. And he wants to better relate to you. And so that is probably another reason why you may be feeling that he has been stuck because this is that same energy. Again, when somebody cannot make a decision or is not able to make decisions that move your relationship forward, right? Um, again, more of that stuck in the mud energy. And so that's why I feel that he wants to better understand you. He wants to better relate to you, better connect to you so that he can can express a deeper love, a better love, a better um, connection. And so that is definitely something he's been struggling with. And again, for those of you who are in some form of a, you know, third party or you have that other energy also um, interfering in some way, this is also about loyalty as well, right? There's a special message here for those of you where it's like he is trying to uh, figure out where his loyalty lies as in he wants to show you his loyalty but he's also struggling with how to deal with that other person so that's also another aspect of this so then spirit can you please tell us what is the energy of your connection together let's take a look at where is this connection where where are your energies combining and what is going on within that deep connection that you have hmm yeah see that's the yeah uh, so definitely right there's a lot of this kind of sadness and regret for the fact that you some of you you know may be struggling right now right struggling not being able to communicate not being able to you know make the effort when you want to right so that's interesting oh see look at that okay so see that Take care, enemies are working against you. So see, I feel that definitely in this reading, there is a special message for those of you who are struggling because there is an additional influence, because there may be a third party you know, influencing or restricting or getting in the way of your connection. So I feel like that special message for those of you is continuing on. So that is definitely something that you need to be aware of. But sometimes, you know, we are not the person who can change that, right? Sometimes we are not the person who can um, change that situation. So, you know, my heart goes out to you if you're in that situation with your masculine where it's like, you know, you just don't know when this 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 situation is going to resolve itself, right? Because see, we're getting this hangman, it's energy. So I feel that both of you have definitely been 
um, struggling to figure out where this connection is going, where you want it to go, how you want it to look, how you want it to feel, right? Because I feel like underneath, at that foundational level, there's a lot of love, okay? There's a lot of love, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of like, you know what, I'm still in this, I'm still in this with you because no matter what crap has gone on, beneath it all, you are the one I truly love. And so that is why I feel like both of you have, you know, literally been sometimes holding on just on a thread, like just like barely holding on because you know that you don't want to let this love go, even though it has been so difficult, um, even though there has been a lot of struggle. So I'm not surprised that part of the connective energy definitely between the two two of you is this being caught between worlds you know not knowing okay should we move forward or should we let this go now i did want to acknowledge this because many of you do write in the comments um because i do read them all please know that i love hearing from you i love reading your comments i try to respond to as many as i can but if i don't respond to yours just know that i do read them all and i try to put a heart there to show you that i have read it so many of you have put in the comments that you know i've just decided to move on i'm done with this i can't deal with this situation anymore it's not getting me anywhere i deserve better and i want you guys to know that is fantastic you have every right you know, we are not here to keep you struggling forever. We are not here to keep you in a state where you feel like you, you know, it's been years and you're not getting anywhere, even though you really love, you know, this person. So if you feel in your heart because you have gone into this hermit's energy and that's fine, right? And I feel like that's also part of what the both of you have been doing, right? Is like going deep, being, you know, you know taking that step back, uh, being, taking some time to yourself and trying to figure out, okay, you know, I need to make a decision here once and for all. I can't be in this hangman's energy. Um, is this connection worth it for me? Do I want to continue on? Um, do I have regrets? If I, if I, if I let go and say, you know what, I can't wait anymore. I can't deal with whatever the, the obstacles are anymore. Will I have regrets if I move on? So I think that both of you are definitely at that stage here. Look at in your connective energy with this crossroads energy. It's like you guys know that you have gotten now to a point in this connection where you really do need to come out of that two of swords in reverse as in a decision needs to be made. And that both of you have been taking your time to step pat back, to clear your head, you know, to really figure out what is it that you truly want from this connection. And is it time to move on or do you want to stay? Right? Is this something that you both want to work on together? Are you on the same page? So this is going to be really important because I feel like both of you are asking yourselves a question. I don't want to have regrets. I want to make the right decision here. I want to move forward in a way that I feel really, really good about. So that's why what we're having here is this page of swords with the make the effort card. Because see, with this page of swords, it's like we are definitely not fully sharing our true thoughts right now. Okay. We have definitely stepped back. We may be having some thoughts here about this connection as we, you know, take this time to go in deep. We have certain thoughts, we have ideas, we have feelings that we would very much want to share. We want to go there. And so I feel that both of you are getting to a point now where it's like you're, you're coming together in this, you know, readiness. Like I'm getting ready to be ready in order to make this effort, in order to come together and at least have the conversation, not being quiet anymore, not being silent anymore. So if some of you have been struggling with having a silence 
between the two of you, right? Where you just feel like the silence is deafening and it's getting worse and worse. I think that both of you now are coming out of it. So if you've been wondering like, okay, my masculine is, he's been really quiet lately. What is going on in his head? Um, you know, what's going, what, what do I do? What do I say? I think the time is now coming more ripe for you guys to make the effort to come together and have a real deep conversation, right? To finally come out of this page of swords energy where you're just kind of both have been in your heads, where you've both been just kind of like, you know, analyzing, processing, and now you want to have absolutely no regrets. You want to make the right decision. It's time to come together and have that real heart to heart conversation. Really important. And that's great. I think that's great news. You need that. So then spirit, tell us what are the possible future energies here just in the next few days? What movement can we see in this connection? What are some possible future energies here? Oh, hmm. Oh my gosh, wow, wow. Wow, what are some possible future energies coming through here? Oh, major stuff here, guys. Wow. Oh boy. All right, so look at this, okay? Look at this, this is amazing. So we have right here, look at this, these three cards are cards of a major shift, okay? Big shift, big movement. I'm gonna move this camera a little bit up. There you go. Big shift, big movement right here. And look at this, this energy. It's like these, you know, these threes. It's like trying to finally move on moving away from these energies. This is really, really good because look, this is definitely what you've been going through, right? Five of cups, grieving a loss. I feel like that is totally, look at this, coming full circle from where we had your masculine's energy, right? He was, he's been grieving this loss as in he has definitely been grieving the time that he has not been able to be with you, not been able to connect with you, um, you know, been in that kind of like, you know, silent, quiet kind of, you know, space um, in his heart, in his mind. And it has taken its toll. It has really, really brought down that energy between the two of you. And look at this. It has been heartbreaking for him and for you with this three of swords. And for, again, see, I feel like throughout this reading, there is a special message here for those of you who have that third party or, you know, some sort of situation with the third party or an influence from somebody who is not wanted. And there it is again, three of cups with the three of swords. So I do feel that this is something that is now finally coming to some sort of a resolution, okay? Like this, whatever this situation is, it's on its last legs, as in it is in a transition mode. It's coming to a head as in it's coming into a change of situation because look at this, we have travel and we have awakening. So I feel that there is shifting energy here, that this issue here, for those of you who have been stuck in this, you are going to come out of this. Like this, this situation is going to be resolved. It's coming. It's coming because your masculine is on the move. And I feel like with this travel, it doesn't just necessarily have to be physical travel or like um, geographical travel, as in him traveling towards you. It may be if he lives in a different place. That is one aspect of it. And that is absolutely possible that he will travel to see you. He will come physically see you because he's resolving this. He's out of it. And I also feel that, but this is, to me is very symbolic as well, because I feel like it's also symbolized 
symbolizes his awakening, right? His awakening um, and moving out of that energy, moving out of whatever energy has been holding you guys back, what has been bringing the two of you down and giving you so much pain. Because look, we have lighthearted and carefree. And so again, this Three of Cups also signifies for those of you who are not in third party situations. This is really great news because the three of cups can also mean that you guys are going to get together physically and have a good time <laughs> as in this lighthearted, carefree time, as in you are going to have something to celebrate here, you know, and it's going to be very romantic. See, your romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. And now you guys are coming out of that phase, that phase of silence, that phase of like feeling down, that phase of three of swords where you were feeling heartbroken. That is now, you know, behind you because you are going to come together and celebrate the end of all of that and the beginning of a new, very lighthearted, very good phase in your life because this awakening has happened, right? This realization um, between the two of you that no, we are making that final decision now that we are going to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes in terms of travel, movement, whether it's symbolic, whether it's geographical, whether it's physical or just emotional or all of the above, we are going to do whatever it takes to be together. You have awakened to this love as in awakened to the fact that it is now time. It is now time to finally come into the love, the feelings, the openness, um, that, sense of having a real deep, heavy burden being lifted from your shoulders and feeling very, very lighthearted, see? Because that burden is now shifting. You guys are definitely shifting out of heavier energies and into much more lighthearted opportunities, right? Because you also have that beautiful door card. And I love the fact that that has also come full circle in this reading because look at this. I mean, it's like with that opening up of the the doors, I feel like this is all about your relationship, your connection opening up. Finally, the gates are open, the doors are open, and the love and the romance can be free flowing. So, Spirit, can you please give us some final words of guidance? Oh, wow. Look at this moon energy. This is your final message from your spirit guides. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible beautiful. So make sure that you leave me a comment if you would like to order any of my Oracle decks or have a personal reading with me. So please do make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and join us. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. You know how much I love and believe in you and I'll see you all on the next video.